Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another earring extravaganza. And we're gonna jump right in because we got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, let me get in closer. Try to make sure that I show you everything correctly. Because uh, I noticed the last video I was off the edge of the screen a lot. So, let's like, check these out. These are a pair of those Indian dangly ones. You see the little bell like? But they need fixed. This needs to go back onto here. Like that, but I have to fix it better than that. So, yeah, these are those kind. Indian wedding type. I don't know that they're supposed. Oh wait, these don't have. Sometimes they have something that dangles from inside, but these don't have that. I'm pretty. Oops, I forgot to open up my oh, loud. Sorry. My bags is, is. I don't know if these are going to fit in the bag though. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, I'm not going to be able to shut it, but it's in there, at least, and they're together, so that's cool. Eh! No, 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 no. There we go. Put that over there. Here's a pretty little pair of blue, blue fish scaly looking ones. And I have not scrubbed my hands today yet. These are pretty. I like these kind. Fish scaly looking ones. They're made of a uh, mother of pearl. Or another is that mother of pearl? Either mother of pearl died or shell died. Something. They're pretty. And of course they're not marked. Thank goodness Missy is being quiet today. Of course, I say that and she's going to start squawking. Squarking. Because that's how it works usually. <laughs> she's all good until I say something. Oh, this one's cool. This is cool. This is a little Eiffel Towers. And there's a little Eiffel Tower pendant. This is lavender and these are pink, but I'm going to do them as a set. Because that's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, 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 uh. Well, after a long, long slump of no sales, Yesterday I got a sale on Etsy and she clicked um, express shipping, okay? So I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, wait a minute, it's an $18 item and she's paying $29 shipping, which is $10, practically $10 more than the price of the item. So I messaged her and I was like, did you mean to do that? And you realize that the item is 18 and the shipping is 29. And she said, yes, I'm fully aware. And I meant to do that. So I shipped that out. 
I was like, well, that was kind of strange, but I'm really happy for the sale. And then this morning I get up and I look at my email, and guess what? There's another sale. So that's cool. I'm real happy with that. Two days in a row I get a sale. That's always good. And uh, <laughs> my son said, well, you know, vacation season is almost over, so all the moms and, and housewives and people that were traveling and stuff, they were, they're home now and, you know, they're settling back into what they normally do, so that might be why you're getting sales again. So I was like, well, that makes sense, I guess. These are very pretty. They are, pur they are purple and they are plastic and they are very cheap. Well, cheap. They're very inexpensive. But they're really pretty, too. Like, I like them. That color is like, whoa. Real vibrant. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Those will probably end up being a free gift at some point because they are that. I would never sell those. <laughs> Not in a million years. So yeah, so hopefully the sales picking up, uh, I don't know. Is anybody else having sales now that uh, summer's just about done? Here's some more vintage ones. These are really neat. Alright, please focus. There we go. Aren't they neat? They're like pink and red and really cool and is that a name? Is it? Where's my beep, 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 beep. Where's my Of course I put it on my desk. Ugh. Turn around, get it on my desk. Yeah. Good lord. So Hubs got called into work again last night to do the overnight. So he uh, he's asleep right now, and Boyo is out getting me coffee. And this looks like it wants to have a name on it. It does have a name on it. It says Japan. So the, these are definitely um, some nice vintage ones from Japan. Cool. I think I will put them in the good pile because the Japanese stuff from the 50s is highly collectible. Yes. Here's another neat one. This is a pair of earrings, but it was made in one piece. So those are cool. And this one is missing the hook, so I have to get a hook for that. Hooky, hooky, hook. I got a lot of earrings to fix. And while I was upstairs searching for the one that I sold today, oh my gosh, I gotta get upstairs and get organized because they're all still in the boxes. Yeah, I didn't really sort sort as I went, like for a lot of it, um, until recently. So, um, yeah. While I was up there, I found another box of earrings from another lot, like. But I'm going to save them for later. I'll just, you know. I, I I've already showed them to you while they were in their lot, so. Yeah. So I was like, oh, good lord, more earrings. <laughs> That's crazy. It's just, oh, look. These are not earrings. These are shoe clips finally a pair of matching stinking shoe clips well at least they match but 
they're kind of, I don't know, brutalist? Is that what you call that? Brutalist, brutalist shoe clips. I need to wear some brutal shoes. <laughs> I have a ton of black shoes that, like, these might be cool on. To put together an ensemble. Oh, wait, I have another pair. Oh, I'm going to put them together, I think. Here's another pair. I like these better. These are neat. I like the knots. Those are cool. I have some upstairs, but they're singles, and I put, like, a different one on each shoe. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm weird. I'm so weird. You have no idea. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're getting an idea as to how how very, very weird I am. Okay. Where, am I going to put these in with the earrings? No. I need to put in somewhere else. These are neat. They look like guillotine blades. But they're, they look very Viking. They're artisan made copper earrings. Aren't they cool? I love these. This one's a little bit bent. But they're really, really well made. And I'm very surprised that they're not signed because the work is very fine. Look at these little bitty rivets. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these. Don't be hard pressed not to keep those because copper, 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 copper. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper cup of coffee pot. Name that too. <laughs> Yeah, which is kind of funny because he's out getting me coffee. <laughs> he he he. Mm -hmm. And here, remember, I was saying that I wanted to ah, I wanted to keep or I wanted to make a pendant out of the third one. Well, look, I found the fourth one, so. We got two pairs of those. I will bag them separately. And then when I have them listed, if they sell, I can keep the listing up. The two in stock, which doesn't usually happen, as you well know, unless you're buying lots of uh, retail overstocks and stuff like that. Which I haven't tried doing yet, but from what I've seen, it's mostly really inexpensively mass-produced stuff. So, here's some little pearly with bows. They're very conservative. They're conservative with a cutesy, with a cutesy bit. <laughs> Why do I never think of this stuff when I'm doing like descriptions <laughs> because I'm not talking I'm generally more eloquent when I talk than when I write unless I'm writing a big long thing and then I can get into the flow of consciousness where you know you're typing as fast as you're thinking if you know what I mean Thank goodness for typing class in the 80s because, yay. Okay, I've got three pairs of threaders. These guys, you know, you know what I mean by threader, right? They go in your ear like that. There's gunmetal, and then there's, uh, come on now. Eh? And then there's silver tone. And then there is. Or is that gold tone? I can't tell. They're two different colors, you can tell. 
I think this is like a really light gold tone. This one. So those are going to go in. In the back together. They're all going to be friends. And I can sell those as a lot. And here is, I need to get some, uh, like, little, um, stud earrings to put with these. These are those ones that go, you put your, uh, <sighs> stud earrings through there. Um, so, those I should put in with the studs. And we'll find a pair of studs to go with those. Studs, studs, studs. Here's a little pair of pink and silver tone. Pink and silver tone. Pink and silver tone. Do 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 do. There we go. There are silver tone, slightly brushed with light pink cat's eye but it's also faceted that's neat I know somebody that would like those so we'll put them aside there we go here's some pretty green ones I already showed you these I wore them the other day lovely lever backs back earrings. Let me know if you're getting bored with earrings because I can go do the other box. I can switch back to the last box in the lot if you like. And then we can come back to the earrings later. Because they can stay on this table for a bit. My my guys are used to me taking over the house at this point, so my house, my house. These are cool. They're brass. They're very antiqued looking. With some enamel and I, I just I think this is resin. This bit is resin made to look like wood. And then this is uh enamel. Those are nice. They're kind of heavy, but they're, they're really nice. And they're, uh, they're not marked. And look, they're molded. It almost looks like they're poured. Isn't that weird? I like them, though. They go in here. And then they go in here. Bing! Why do I always bing when I throw things in there? It's weird. You're weird, Zeus. You're a weirdo. These are nice. These are very shiny. Very shiny, very modernist, very clean, very nice, thin, but very, uh, very, um, uh, it feels like quality, pretty, pretty good quality stuff. So those are neat. I can't wear these kind of hoops. I have to wear the kind with the hook at the top, like these guys. Because my mother did not trust mall piercing places. So she took us to her family doctor to pierce our ears because she was, I don't know, paranoid or something. And what the heck does a doctor know about the angle at which to pierce the ear so that the earrings hang correctly? Well, first of all, he did it down too low. That's why all the uh, 80s earrings that I wore kind of, they stretch the hole to where I'm nearly ripped through. I know that sounds gross, but yay for big 80s earrings. But anyway, the angle at which he put the needle through makes the hoops, those kinds of hoops, 
hang like all kind of funky. So I can't wear I can't wear those. <laughs> like these guys. I cannot wear these. Because instead of hanging this way, like they're supposed to, they hang this way. Which is yeah. Here's some little pinky hoops. Really nice. I wish I could wear them. I like the way they look, but yeah, I tried these on the other day because I had on a gold, big thick gold necklace and n nope, it was a no-go. So we'll show you these. <laughs> Those are really nice ones too. Darn it. Darn it, Mom. Paranoid. It was, it was right when like Piercing Pagoda started and we were like, we were kids. Nope, oh, that's not going to go in there. Put that over here with that. These guys will go in though. So yeah. Mommy's paranoia made my ears weird. Oh, hello, Miss Scarlet. Wow, that just, I was totally not prepared for that. Wow. Phew, Scarlet says hi. <laughs> Here's a pair. Of, see, this is the kind. I, I do best with uh, fish hooks or lever backs. Um, and, you know, smaller studs that aren't hoops. Sometimes those hang weird too, though. These are neat little peach guys. Resin. With little, yeah, little plastic faceted beads above. Those are very sweet. Very sweet. Well, come on now. You were just focused a second ago. What the heck? Oh, well. Whoop de doo. Let's see. Whoop. We got hooked on the edge. Damn and yeah. Here is a neat pair. These are uh, these are really cool looking. They're brass and silver tone, but they've got like a peacock wash or some kind of a weird wash on there. It's like faux patination of some sort. And then this lays over top. They're cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Dropping stuff. Dropping stuff. Here's a cute pair of brass with. Looks like plastic. Yeah, these are brass with um, resin, plastic resin, olive green and brown and smoky. These are nice. They're real muted. Pretty, pretty. I mean, they look like stone, but they're not. They're plastic. They look like a almost look like moss agate. Ouch, 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 ouch. I am sitting on my feet again. Ow. Owie, owie. Those guys going there. Here is a little pair on a homemade card. Oh, wait, it's not a homemade card. They did cut off the name though. So I don't know. I don't know. They're just, you know, little faceted guys. I have several necla necklaces with this kind of beads, so I guess I could put them in. If somebody buys the necklace, I could throw these in. 
I think I have a Chico's necklace with that in. Ba, ba, ba. Just about done. Dun, 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 dun. Here's another one. So it's brassy, brass, brassy looking. And it's like resin and rhinestones. One little hooks. Those are cute. Very, very cute. They like them a lot. Now, what have we left? There's these guys. They're plastic chips. They're ridiculously light. Yeah, that's another one that's going to be a free gift, I think. Because uh, you can't keep everything. Or that could go in like a wearable lot, I guess. Because they are wearable. Mm -hmm. You going to talk now? Mm -hmm. Here is another pair of interesting little guys with white centers with a slight green around the middle and filigree and rhinestones and this needs to come off because the other one doesn't have one So those are cool. Mm hmm Are you talking there, Missy Miss? Missy Missy. Missy Missy. No names on those. There's a lot with no names. These are nice. These are, uh, oop. They're like fiber optic. Wait a second. Oh, come on. Don't be weird. Uh, it need to go back through here? No, that's not the problem. The problem is that this part right here is... Jeez ah, Louise. Come on. There we go. Got it. Brown. Fiber optic. See? Both the, uh, yeah, look, you can see when I turn it. These are really pretty. And they're heavy. Substantial. They don't have any name on them either. But they're really nice. I like them. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. Oops. Nope. That's not what I wanted. I want this. Missy, Missy, are you talking, Missy? Miss Scarlet. Mm. <laughs> She's silly. Oh, here's another pair that needs fixed. These guys missing. Missing this one on the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys off. These five. Mm. And then I'm going to hang something different off of these guys. And this ear wire is totally borked. So we're going to fix that too. Or I might just put them all together. All of the ones that need repair. Mm. And sell them as a lot to be repaired. Do people do that? Do they buy things to fix? Let me know. If you know, let me know. We're at 29. And I'm going to start saying ba 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 now. Uh, we didn't find any that were actual name brands today. Uh, here's a nice pair. Look at these guys. They got 
got little leafy leaves. And they jingle. I got those. See, these are the kind I can wear. The ones that aren't real rigid. That way they can kind of swing around and it doesn't look weird. But those are not worked either. So, if you saw anything that you really must have today, please leave me a timestamp and a send me an email at fairyvixen at verizon.net. And if you like the content, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment in the down there, and I love all of you, each and every one of you, and yeah, um, remember that, uh, what am I supposed to remember? Remember to be yourself, because everybody else is taken. <laughs>